approaching the end of a three-year tour in Moscow. And I wanted to find out what their intentions were for me because my kids were about to go to a summer camp in, in the States. And they wouldn't have so I sent my kids off. And uh, Small calls me and says, what are you doing sending your family? I said, well, the three-year tour was up. I tried to get your foreign editor uh, to answer my inquiries and he wouldn't do it so I said I had this time to send my family off and I did. Oh. He said all right well let's get ready and we'll send you back to the United States. I said I don't want to go back to the United States. I want to stay here. I want to work in Asia. And he said uh, well we decided you want to you, you, you want to stay out here. We're having troubles with that fellow Webster. He's insensitive to Chinese. We think we ought to make a change. So we're going to send you to Hong Kong. And I said, uh, well, fine. I said, the only thing I want to tell you is I'd, I'd like to attempt, I said, being in Moscow, I'd like to attempt to get a visa to go to China. I said, and come maybe the Trans-Siberian Railway. He says, well, you can't get a visa there. I said, I said, but you don't mind if I try to? He says, no, go ahead. I finally was going back to Moscow, and I was there about a week, and I went to an embassy, a Finnish embassy reception, I think, and the first secretary of the Chinese embassy comes up. I don't know that, because he introduced himself, so we went. He says, I understand you want to go to China. I said, well, yes, my friend. how did you know? He says, we have ways of knowing. A few days later, I get a call, and I said, come see us. Uh, I want to talk to you. Go back with, with and bring your wife. My wife. We, we go back to the embassy and he sits down and says, Well, Mr. Frompson, I want to tell you, uh, we're going to give you visas to go to China by way of the Trans Siberian Railway, and your children will be the first young Americans to go to China since the revolution. And I'm saying, Wow, that's incredible. So, and he's very happy with me, and blah, blah, blah. They invite me to the October 1st reception. So I get back to the office, and I call Sid Fetters, the foreign editor. He said, well, what, what, what are you up to? I said, well, I get it on. I said, it's just wonderful news. I said, I've got this visa to go to China. He says, you're not going to China. I said, wait a minute. This is something we've always wanted to do, and I'm going to go to China. He said, he said, you're not going to China. And I said, well, fuck you. And I hung up. Fifteen minutes later, boom, small calls. What's this I hear you're going to China? I said, well, you know, Bill, I talked to you about getting a visa. I got a visa. And I got this China. It's a wonderful, wonderful way to really start off my assignment in Hong Kong. He says, we don't want you to go to China. You go to China, don't show up in Hong Kong. I said, what do you mean? I said, are you threatening me? He says, you tell it whatever it is. When I said, didn't you tell me I was going to China because I was replacing a guy who was insensitive to the Chinese? They've given me a visa. What am I supposed to tell them now? He says, I don't give a fuck what you tell them. I go back and I'm shattered. And I tell all the press corps about this. And I say, well, go to China, go to China. And I called our lawyer in L.A. And he didn't know anything about foreign affairs. And then he said, well, you know, if you go, he said, and they fire you, and then you try to get a job again, people will say, well, your guy couldn't take orders. Finally, about two weeks later, Sokolow says to me, well, you know, and he says, you'll think this is crazy. He said, but you know, Joe and Lag was dying. And they wanted to send Mike Wallace to interview him. <laughs> and they were trying to get a visa. And you could screw this up. But I said, but you don't seriously think the Chinese are going to give you an embassy to interview a dying figure in the Chinese Revolution, do you? He says, why not? I said, well, this is just crazy. He said, don't go to China. It's just a small idea. So we had an appointment the next day to go to the embassy again. And I met the consul. And I said, well, look, uh, something's come up. Another assignment in India. And I can't go to China right now. So if it's possible, I'd like to defer it. 
he looks at me and I look at him. And we all start to cry. And we really literally all start to cry. And we, he knew I was lying. My wife, Dodi, she, she couldn't hide it. We were, really, we were really bitterly disappointed because for all these years I'd wanted to go to China. And here I can't go because of this stupid idea. I think Mike Wallace is going to go to China? <laughs> what, and grill him? I mean, that shows you how stupid the so uh, we didn't go to China. And we got to Hong Kong, and I met the Chinese there, and I thought the cars, they were absolutely stunned. They said, you mean you got a visa and you didn't go? I said, what am I supposed to do? 